Today we will crochet this cowl or neck warmer. It is a one hour cowl because it takes one hour to make. It is very quick and easy and it has a pretty pattern. It makes a good present because it works up fast. You can make it in any color that you want. As you can see I have used Christmas colors for this one and it is thinner than the next one. So you can make it in any size that you want. This is a step by step beginner friendly tutorial. Hello and welcome to Let's All Crochet. Please consider subscribing and pressing on the bell icon to be notified weekly for new videos. To crochet this cowl or neck warmer, we are going to need three different colors of yarn. I have used medium weight. We will need less than one skein of all. This is my orange or rough color left over from my headband. This is off white and this is brown. You can use any colors that you want. We will also need a 5.5 millimeter or an eye size crochet hook, scissors, tapestry needle and a measuring tape. Now let's begin. We are going to begin by chaining the width of the cowl. Then we will repeat the rows till we reach the height. Then we are going to fold it and sew the sides together. I have made 4 rows of brown, 4 of rust and 4 of white in this cowl. It measures about 13 and a half, 2 times which is 27 by 7 and a half inches as you can see. The second cowl is thinner with 3 rows of red, 3 of green and 3 of off white. It measures about 6 inches by 30 inches. I'm going to start with brown. You can use any color that you want. Make a slip knot. Take the tail end of the yarn and loop it over the working end. Then take the tail end and go below this loop to form a pretzel shape. You're going to catch the second loop in your crochet hook and then pull it out carefully. This is your slip knot. Tuck on the tail end to tighten it. We will chain the width of our neck warmer. We will chain a multiple of 6 plus 4. I am going to chain 112. To make counting easier, we are going to chain 6 first. To chain, go below the yarn, catch the yarn in your hook and pull it through the loop. This is called yarn over and pull it through the loop. Yarn over and pull it through the loop. Yarn over and pull it through the loop. So I have 4 chains. 5 and 6. Chain 6 again. 1. 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Continue chaining 6 till you reach the end of the width and I will meet you there. I have reached the end of the chain and now I am going to add 4 more chains. So 1, 2, 3 and 4. Row 1. We are now going to double crochet in the 4th chain from the hook. The loop on the hook does not count as a chain. Skip the first chain, second and third. And in this fourth chain, we are going to make a double crochet. You can work into any loop that you want. Yarn over. Insert your hook into this fourth chain. Yarn over and pull through. Once you have three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through too. Once you have two loops, yarn over and pull through the last two loops. Make another double crochet in this next chain. Yarn over. Insert your hook into the next chain. Yarn over and pull through. Once you have three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through two. Once you have two loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through the last two loops. Make another double crochet in the next chain. Chain 3. 1, 2 and 3. We are now going to skip 3 chains. So we have worked in this chain. Skip 1, 2 and 3. And in this next chain, we are going to make a double crochet. So let's do it. Skip 3 chains. 1, 2, 3. And in this next chain, we will make a double crochet. Yarn over. Insert your hook. Now double crochet in the next chain as well. We have two double crochets. Make one more double crochet in the next chain. So now we have three double crochets. So now we will chain three again. One, two 
and 3. Now we are going to skip the next 3 chains. 1, 2 and 3. So after we skip 3 chains, we are now going to begin our repeat pattern. Double crochet in this next chain. I'm sorry. And double crochet in the next 2 chains as well. Now chain 3. Skip the next 3 chains. So after skipping 3 chains, we are going to begin our repeat pattern. Double crochet in the next 3 chains. Then you are going to chain 3. Skip 3 chains and continue till the end of the row till the last chain and I will meet you there. So this is the end of my row. I have made 3 double crochet. Now I have made chain 3. I am going to skip 3 chains and in this last chain I will make a double crochet. So we will double crochet in the last chain together. Begin row 2 with a chain 3. 1, 2, 3. Now you are going to turn your work. This chain 3 is going to count as a first double crochet. This chain 3 counts as a double crochet. This is why we will not work in this first double crochet. We will go to this chain 3 space. And in this space we will make 3 double crochet together. Yarn over. Insert your hook into this chain 3 space like this. Now yarn over again and pull through. Once you pull through you will have 3 loops. Yarn over and pull through 2. And yarn over and pull through the last 2 loops. This is your first double crochet in the chain 3 space. Make your second double crochet in this chain 3 space. Make your third double crochet. After these three double crochet in the chain three space, we are now going to chain three. One, two, and three. Now skip these three double crochet. We will not work in them and jump to this next chain three space. Now we will begin. The repeat pattern. Make 3 double crochet in this chain 3 space. Yarn over. Insert your hook into this chain 3 space. Yarn over and pull through. If you want you can just hold the bottom of this double crochet like this. So this will make making the double crochet easier. Make your next double crochet in the same space. Hold the bottom so it's easier. One more. So as you can see we have 3 double crochet. Now we are going to chain 3. 1, 2 and 3. So we will not work in this 3 double crochet. So after this we are going to make 3 double crochet in this chain 3 space. We are going to chain 3, skip these 3 double crochet and continue in the same way to the end of the row and I will meet you there. I have reached the end of the row. I have made 3 double crochet in this chain 3 space. Then I have chain 3. Now I am going to skip 3 double crochet. 1, 2 and 3. Now this is my last double crochet. It is also my chain 3 and in this third chain of the chain 3 I am going to make a double crochet to end this row. Finish row 2. Yarn over. Go in the third chain of the chain 3 and make your double crochet to end the row. From now on we will just repeat row 2 for pattern. Begin with a chain 3. Now turn your work. So this chain 3 counts as a double crochet. We will not work into this first double crochet. In this first chain 3 space we are going to make 3 double crochet. I am going to begin with my first double crochet in the space. Second double crochet in the same space. And third double crochet in the same space. After this I am going to chain 3. 1, 2, 3. Skip. The next 3 double crochet and jump to the chain space. So now our repeat pattern begins. Make 3 double crochet in the space. 1, 2 and 3. After this we will chain 3. 1, 2, 3. Skip the next 3 
double crochet and go to the next chain space. Continue till the end of the row and I will meet you there. End row 3 exactly like row 2. 3 double crochet in the last chain space, chain 3. Now skip the next 3 double crochet, 1, 2, 3. And in the third chain of the chain 3, we are going to make a double crochet. Let's end row 3 together. Begin row 4 with a chain 3. 1, 2, 3. Turn your work. Row 4 is exactly the same as row 2, except at the end of this row, they are going to change colors. You are not going to work in this first double crochet. In this chain 3 space, make 3 double crochet. 1, 2, 3. And 3. After this, chain 3. Sorry. Now we will skip the next 3 double crochet and this is the repeat pattern till the end of the row. I will meet you there. I have reached the end of row 4 and in this last double crochet in the chain 3 space, I am going to change colors. So yarn over, insert your hook into the third chain, yarn over and pull through. Once you have 3 loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through 2 loops. Once you have 2 loops, we are going to stop working with the brown yarn and drop it. Now pick up the new yarn, which is rust for me, catch it in a loop form on your crochet hook like this and pull it through both the loops on your hook. So you have now changed colors to the rust color. At the end of every 4 rows, we are going to change colors like we just did. So if you want, you can cut this brown yarn off because we won't need it anymore. Let us continue with the orange or rust yarn. All the rows are a repeat of row 2. So row 5 is a repeat of row 2. Chain 3, 1, 2, 3. Turn your work. The only difference is we are working in a new color yarn. So begin with 3 double crochet in this chain 3 space. 1, 2, 3. Now chain 3. 1, 2, 3. So now we are going to skip the next 3 double crochet and jump to the next space. Continue repeating the pattern till the end of the row and I will meet you there. End the row like all the other rows with a double crochet in the third chain of the chain 3. We have finished row 5. This is our first row in this color. We are going to repeat it 3 more times so that we have 4 rows in all in rust color. After that we will change colors so I will meet you at the end of row 8. I have reached the end of row 8. As you can see, I have made 4 rows in rust color. 1, 2, 3 and 4. Now, at the end of this row, I am going to switch to off-white color. So, we will switch by making a double crochet in the third chain of the chain 3. Yarn over, insert your hook into the third chain. Yarn over and pull through. Once you have 3 loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through 2 loops. Once you have 2 loops, Drop the current yarn. We are going to pick up the new yarn or the third yarn. Catch it in a loop form on the hook and pull it through the last two loops on your hook. So we have changed to white and now we are going to make four rows in off-white color or the third color. So in exactly the same way we will begin with a chain three. Turn our work. You can cut off the rust color and now begin with three double crochet in this chain space. Then chain three, skip over these three double crochet and continue till the end of the row. So once you finish the four rows in the third color, I will meet you there. Once we finish all the 12 rows, we will leave about 15 inches of the yarn and then cut it. We are going to use this yarn to sew it shut. Now just tuck on your crochet hook and pull out a loop. We will sew on the wrong side. When the slip knot is at the bottom left like this, this is the right side of our neck warmer or cow. So just close it like this. Now this is the wrong side and this is the side that we will sew on. I have turned my neck warmer and this is the sides that we are going to sew shut. So place them exactly against one and other. With the yarn that we have left behind, we will begin sewing. You can use any stitch you want. I am using the whip stitch. Insert your needle in the first side on the top stitch and then on the next side in the top stitch. Now tuck on the needle. Come back to the first side. Insert your needle in the next stitch on the first side then the second side. Tug on the needle. 
the loops are going to lie on top like this. So you will continue sewing in the same way till you sew this entire side shut and I will meet you there. Make sure the loops lie on top like this. I will meet you once you are finished. I have finished sewing till this end and now we are going to weave the yarn in. With the tapestry needle we are now going to go 3 to 4 times in the opposite direction. 1, 2, 3. Once you are sure the yarn is firmly weaved in, you will take a scissor and cut it off. Do the same for all the remaining yarns. If you have enjoyed this tutorial, please subscribe and press on the bell icon and select the all option to be notified every week for a new tutorial. The written pattern is linked below. Here are some tutorials you may enjoy.